Oh. Hey guys, welcome to the lockdown training zone. So uh, yeah, we've been in lockdown for now a week and I think I would go absolutely mental without climbing. So uh, as soon as this thing kicked off, shot down to Bunnings, grabbed a load of wood and uh, yeah, took all my training holds off from indoors on my hangboard and stuff, all the slopers. Came down here, whizzed them into the roof and thought, oh yeah, this would be a good idea. This will keep me busy for the next month. It's freaking hard. It's hard, but it's getting me pretty strong. Really feeling it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Also reconstitute a lot of things that I have in the house. Uh, bowling balls <laughs> for big sloper compression moves. Uh, scuba cylinders for uh, mono training. Uh, I've been doing that for a while. This one's now full of rocks uh, to give it a little bit of weight. I've built a uh, campus board as well. It's not that great. Pretty, pretty sturdy, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I keep hitting into the tree and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's pretty good. It's better than what most people have at the moment. So uh, yeah, pretty stoked with my training setup. And this is keeping me really busy on evenings and lunch times, whenever I need to take a break. And I've also got my beast makers for some hangboard training as well. So my plan over this quarantine is to uh, not lose any strength, but actually gain strength in certain areas. Uh, I wanna lose all the footwork that I have uh, accumulated over the last few years and just you know, apply all my strength to roof training. Uh, also got my TRX ring system going as well, uh, drilled into another tree. Um, works really well, great for um, Ys and Ts on the TRX system. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool training zone. I wish I had a few more mats, but I haven't decked it yet, so seems to be going all good. If anybody has any ideas of other things I could do to keep myself busy in here, let me know. Because I think in the next week, this is maybe gonna not get boring, but I'm gonna move some holds around, probably gonna cut up a little bit more plywood and make some smaller holds. Um, yeah, if you got any cool training ideas, hit me up, love to hear them. I uh, hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more training over the next few weeks. And then we're gonna get back out on some projects and it's gonna be freaking sick. Got some really steep projects going at the moment. Don't think we're gonna be able to get to White Falls. I think it's gonna be out of season by the time uh, this thing's over, but might take a trip down there just to see. Uh, probably strip my drawers out of uh, the route that I was working on, but there is another route at Maritoto that I mentioned before that I'm working on. Uh, open project, uh, has been there for ages, rebolted it. Uh, it's pretty steep, got some real powerful moves in it. So I've set up kind of a crux sequence in here uh, that's gonna help me with that. It's kind of a crossover on quite small holds uh, while keeping a lot of body tension and stuff. So yeah, probably uh, yeah next three weeks, strip down, work that crux over and over, get straight to Maritoto and smash that project out of the bag. And then, uh, yeah, onto something, something new. Don't know what it's gonna be. Oh, I've got my 24 in 24 challenge. I'll talk about that later. Anyway, enjoy the video.
Ooh. Mm-hmm.